long. Um, what else is going on here today with all this stuff? We did you some Jersey. Kim and Croy, and you want to hit Kim Zolciak being dragged through the mud, being out here in Los Angeles at Craig's, where a lot of people feel like she's trying to find another sugar daddy, but uh, her other kids are at home going broke with the with Croy. What are your thoughts? I mean, look. First of all, if you want to be photographed, you come to L.A. or New York. And if you want to be photographed when you're in L.A., you go to Craig's. It's really that simple. Yes. Yes. It's and really that Craig's- simple. You go to the Ivy. You go to Craig's. What, you have lunch at the Ivy. Go right down the street to Craig's for dinner. Where else do you go? You know what I mean? So she knows she's going to be photographed. Go to catch. They don't care. Um yeah, I mean, Croy, she's without her wedding ring. Croy filed again, apparently. Apparently, there were police calls again. I think Croy is now wanting, demanding the marriage, uh, the, the house be sold so they can help pay off their debts. I mean, I just don't understand. Like, I'm not one of those people that's just like, let's just pretend this doesn't exist and go have some fun for a few days. Like, if my world is crashing in... I like to just sit in the misery and deal with it and, and think of the business solution hour by hour about how to get myself out of it. So I don't really understand the like, let's just go to LA when all of this is taking place. I I, I don't really understand that. Well, she's out here to do a brain scan with the TikTok doctor. He just did it. Dr. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, you know, he's very good at marketing. He's very, and he's probably good at what he does. I have no idea. Uh, I've actually- I asked- would love a brain scan. Really? I want him to be on my podcast. He's written books. Uh, oh. He's very good with getting celebrities on. She had a brain scan. Brielle had a brain scan. He has 11 brain scan, scan, scan centers across the country. And so what why do you want a brain scan? What do you want to know? Well, I mean, what is she trying? Is this to try to say, whoops, sorry, everybody. Sorry, I squandered all this money and spent it and I have an addiction. And I mean, are there, are there, or do the two just not have anything to do with each other? Or is this going to be like, uh, guys, I have a brain scan. I am addicted to gambling. I can't help it. Please forgive me for, you know, spending all the money. Oh, that could be. I mean, I, I don't know. That's like where my... That's like where my mind goes, right? That she's going to, oh, she's posting this. I mean, obviously she got this for free because she's posting it all over and telling everyone to call him. I don't know. Why do I want to just, I think, wouldn't it be interesting to see what's going on in your brain? See no. all those crazy thoughts that you have? No. Um. Okay. No brain scan for Sarah. Um. Like uh, who wants a brain scan? I mean, like, no, that's so crazy. You get a brain scan. If you think you have dementia and like, you know, no. uh, you've, you've had a stroke, like who the fuck wants a brain scan? No. Well, I'm not going to go get I, one. Like I just... if you had some sort of traumatic head injury. Now, Kim says she's had a stroke. She was in a car accident. To your point I, that I, we don't know it, but that's an interesting point. Like, is she doing that to go, look, I, you know, my brain cells aren't working correctly. So that's why I'm gambling. And, and by the way, I don't think that Kim and Croy is for publicity. Because a lot of people think that. I don't think this is going to help her get back on any show. To be honest with you, I think it's going to not get her any show. I don't. I. I don't know why. I just have to go with my gut. I don't think Kim is really. She's not like Nene or or Bethany banned. I believe both of those two people are banned from Bravo. Yeah. You can disagree with me. That's what I believe. I don't think Kim is so welcome in the network, though. I don't think anyone's saying, let's give Kim a show. Her life has become so interesting. That's not really how it works. They almost don't want you to have an interesting life. They want you just to play the game. I think Kim is too messy for reality TV. I said it. There, I said it. I don't think they want these messy people. I also, by the way, I am actually intrigued by this idea for a show, but I don't think it's going to get green lit. All that stuff that was maybe like a month ago, the Chrisleys are now shopping around what happens after your parents go to jail. They want to do Grayson and and, and Nanny Faye and Savannah and Chase. Well, they supposedly got it, right? It's not attached to any network. It's Uh not. No, no. Although, no. Are you sure? I feel like. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was like. They have put this out there. I'm pretty sure it's not green lit and it's not attached and it's not picked up. I don't know if it'll be picked up. I think there's still 
too much of a stigma. And I'm not saying there should be with the parents going to jail. I don't think a network wants to touch it. Deadline reports that the Chrisley kids, Chase, Savannah, Chloe, Grayson, and Grandma Nanny Faye are set to star in a new reality series from the producers of Queer Eye. The untitled project will document the new normal for the Chrisley family after their parents reported prison. But to your point, it is not like Netflix has announced that they're taking it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe, I, listen, I'm actually kind of interested in that. I would like to watch that, to be honest with you. I really would like to watch that. Um, I bet. Yeah, they're... and I mean, so yeah, maybe, I mean, uh, Chase just broke off with uh, his his engagement is off. He pulled a Carl and a Lindsay. Um, I guess that's what we're going to call it now. Anything else brewing over there and going on in your world that we, we didn't mention here today? Salt Lake is back pretty much. We're going to talk about Salt Lake next time. Well, if you got to watch the first episode of Salt Lake, Sarah. I will. And uh, last thing that I have is, you know, Potomac is reportedly coming back mid November, I believe. Wow. Okay. We got, we got a real, I'm excited for Salt Lake. I'm very excited for Beverly Hills. Excited for Potomac. We're, we're, we're maybe we're turning things around here, you know? And I assume Jersey, maybe. In February, I think is what I heard. But you know, we're let's let's take it one. We gotta get some more tea going on Jersey. You know, it's like I don't know, Melissa and Teresa not talking to each other. It's it's I really cannot wait. They're gonna edit it in so many ways with eye rolls and this and that. But I really am so curious to see just how these two are at all these events without speaking. I mean, it's possible. I just think it's so weird. What are we watching? That's all. Your point. All right. Um, loving you and leaving you. Uh, we will talk very soon, though. Sarah Frazier Show. Uh, love you guys. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing. Listening to us. And now fans coming up to us. I mean, my God, recognizing us. I, I Sarah just, was I so happy you. that fans recognized I love it. Us. I love it. Well, you know, it's always when you're in the weeds, you don't realize, like, we do this show because – you know, we want to entertain people, inspire people, and it becomes a form of escapism for people. Life can be very hard. And so when someone takes time to recognize you or say, I follow your stuff, I mean, that is the greatest compliment you could ever ask. Now, people have a million choices. 30 years ago, you know, you had, I don't even know what, what was on TV then, like Magnum PI, like Tom Selleck was it. Now you have Tom Sandoval, you have Tom Schwartz, you have David Yontif, you have Sarah Frazier. I mean, the fact that people follow us is so great. You should be proud of yourself, David. You've worked so hard. People love you. They recognize you. I listen, and this is what leads me to say things like, I love my listeners more than my friends. I mean, I'm going to say it again. I said it. I'm sorry. I'm going to get it's, but it's, it's, it's. I mean, the people that listen, I mean, listen, there's also a lot of haters, but the people that listen that tell us that they love it, I mean, that will never be lost on me. I mean, they just, that's, thank you. Like, right? Like that, Incredible. You know, people could say whatever they want, you know, we grew a brand here. So, I mean, I, I see the numbers. I know what the numbers are. It's real. So I will never take that for granted. So I feel the same way that you do. Like really from the bottom of my heart. And yes, I probably would rather sit there and talk to a listener for an hour than maybe one of my friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. 